Oh man, I still can't get used to sleeping on a futon, but I need to hurry up and get used to it. In the morning, when I woke up, I gave myself a stretch. I could hear the sound of birds chirping outside. The sun was shining through the window, and a new day was opening up in front of me. Oh, Makoto, good morning. Good morning, Miss Sumi. Were you able to sleep well? I guess so. That was a lie, wasn't it? How did you know? You seem like the type that wouldn't be able to sleep from changing pillows. Maybe I shouldn't have bought a new one. I'm gonna go wash my face. Do you know where it is? Yes, I double-checked yesterday. Well, that's good. Breakfast is ready already. So after Makoto walked away, Sumi Sasaki was talking to herself. Oh, a Kirino might be there right now. Hmm, oh well. They need to meet each other eventually anyway. When I got to the bathrooms, there was somebody already there. I was surprised. But that was because, well, <laughs> they seemed pretty exposed. That being said, perhaps there was no way around that. Because for her as well, this place was just as much her home as it was mine. Uh, excuse me. Uh, wait a minute, who are you? What was that? Oh, I want to show you how I'm Uh, yeah, still don't understand. I'll wait until you're done brushing your teeth. But then she just kept glaring over at me, and she stayed silent and continued to brush her teeth. A few minutes later... Phew. Oh, do you need a towel? No. Is that so? Um, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but could it be that you're Miss Kirino Nihanda? You're right, but who are you? I'm Makoto Takamichi. I moved into this dormitory yesterday. But then, why do you know my name? Well, that's because I'd heard it from Miss Sumi. She said we're the same age. I hope we can get along. What's the hand? Uh, a handshake. With you, even though you just woke up? What? You haven't even washed your hands yet. How dirty. I definitely can't with people like that. And then, as if she was looking at a piece of dirty trash, she walked away from me. What's with her? And then, I was left alone in the bathroom. Oh well, guess I'll brush my teeth too. Wait, no, I forgot my toothbrush in my room. Dormitory life, day two. I still was having trouble adjusting to this lifestyle. The story goes back to two weeks ago. As we were eating dinner, my mom started talking casually, like we were just talking about plans next week. So, what are you going to do? What do you mean? Like I said, your dad is going to be assigned on an overseas project, so I'm asking you if you're going to come with us or not. Yeah, wait. This is the first time I'm hearing about any of this. Well, of course it is. I said it the first time just now. Well then, why would you say the words like I said? That's misleading. But wait, what? Dad? He's getting transferred overseas? You're always really slow to react to everything. Shut up! Anyway, I'm going to be going with him, but what are you going to do? If you're going to stay in the country, then that means you're going to have to live alone. Are you serious? Living alone? I'd never heard such happy words. Even if I was awake until the late hours, nobody would say anything to me, and I could do as I wanted. So when are you guys leaving? Seriously, you don't have any cuteness to you. Also, even if you're going to be living alone, we're going to put you in a dorm with a building manager. What? But that's not the same as living alone at all! Don't complain. If you're alone, you're not going to cook or do laundry or any of that, are you? You have no faith. Faith is something that comes out of years of building trust. It's been 17 years since I gave birth to you, and there's no proof that you have been able to build any of that trust. Well, anyway, fine. I'm going to make a request to my friend's dorm. And so, for the first time in my life, I was going to be living alone. Before I knew it, I was already moving, and it was all done in time. And then, yesterday, I arrived at the dormitory that I'd be living at from now on. So this is the dorm that my mom is talking about. How do I say this? It's got some character to it. 
I guess I need to go to the manager first. Um... Oh my, are you Makoto Takamachi? Yes, I am, but... Is that so? Nice to meet you. I am the person that's been in charge of managing this place. I'm Sumi Shikisaki. Uh, does that mean you're the building manager? That's right. She was beautiful. Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, I... nothing. You were just a lot younger than I expected, so I was surprised. When I heard building manager, I was picturing an older woman, like a grandma. Oh, would you have preferred that? No, not at all. You're a beautiful woman. I'm happy. You're an honest boy, aren't you? Okay, I think it's a really good thing for you to be so straightforward. Anyway, welcome. Oh yes, I look forward to living here starting today. Sure. Here, there are seven people living here including you. There are three college students, but they are always out playing somewhere, so you might not see them very often. Well, I'll introduce you to them little by little. What about the other three? One person is me. Another is a manga author who is currently loading. They're always locked in their rooms, so you would be lucky to catch them out and meet them. And then, fortunately for you, the last person is a high school student, the same age as you. Oh, really? And the cherry on top? The last person is a really cute girl, so I hope you're looking forward to it. That's what I'd heard. So I really was looking forward to it. But even though she was cute, she was completely cold. There was no inkling of any romance in there. Miss Sumi, I wasn't told anything. What? I told you. At today's breakfast was going to be bread and scrambled eggs with sausages and tomato soup. Makoto, are you the type of rice in the morning or bread? I'm the rice type. Is that so? That's the same as Kirino. By the way, usually the breakfast at this dorm is Japanese food, but about three times a month it's Western style. Why about three times? Because it changes based on my mood. I see. But I don't get it. How are you so friendly already? And like, who are you anyway? I told you my name earlier, didn't I? You already forgot? That's not what I'm saying. Kirino, don't raise your voice while we're eating. Yes, ma'am. This boy is Makoto Takamachi. He moved into this dormitory yesterday. What's up? Nice to meet you. And this here is Kirino Nihanda. She goes to an all-girls high school in the town next door. Hmm. <laughs> the town next door? You mean Yuki High? Wow, you must be pretty smart. That's none of your business. Well... I guess it isn't my business, but... Anyway, from now on, you're going to be living under the same roof for a while, so I hope you two can get along. Yes, ma'am. If you come into my room without permission, I'm going to do you in. I would never do such a thing. Thanks for breakfast. Sure thing. Today is the weekend, so are you going to be going out, Kirino? About dinner? I'll be in my room the whole day, so I'll eat dinner. Thank you for preparing it for me. Got it. And what about you, Makoto? I'd also like to have dinner. And so, Miss Nihonda left the room without saying anything else. So, do you think you guys will get along? I don't have anything to grab onto. I don't blame you. That girl, she's not very good with guys. I guess you could say she's a girls' high school type of girl. So I guess she's still innocent. Oh? Looks like you're daydreaming about a girl's high school. <laughs> How cute. What? Because there are no guys in an all-girls school. I can see it makes the imagination run. But because of that, compared to girls in mixed gender schools, there are a lot more girls that are very outspoken, and they'll talk about all kinds of things. Interesting. Well, Kirino is different, though. But I would like to get along with her. I do believe that it must be some kind of fate for us to cross paths like this anyway. That's right. You've got a good mindset about you. Well then, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. A little secret? Yeah, actually. After I had breakfast, I cleaned up some things around my room, and I was watching a movie on my cell phone screen. Usually I only watch mangas or action movies, but for some reason, I was watching a special sci-fi movie. But still... I don't get it. How is this interesting? 
The reason for that was because of Miss Sumi's words. Actually, Kirino is actually quite the movie nerd. Interesting. If you want to get along with her, then I would recommend that you should watch a movie that she likes. If you do, then you would have more things to talk about. Is that how you got along with her too, Miss Sumi? What? Oh, um, that's right. You're lying, aren't you? Well, you know, I am the building manager. More importantly, come on, let's do your best. Well, I'll try watching it, but... And so, without wasting any time, I decided to go for the challenge. But I don't get it. What's he trying to do? Wow. About 20 minutes into the movie, my eyes started to get heavy. Perhaps because I wasn't able to sleep too much last night. And all of a sudden, everything went dark. Uh, what happened? When I opened my eyes, the room was illuminated and orange. Did I fall asleep? Oh no, I've done it. When I looked up the time, it was already three hours ahead of what I remembered. And my cell phone screen was pitch black. Even still, I'm amazed she can enjoy such a difficult movie. I guess she really must be pretty smart, that girl. I said these words that sounded like an excuse, but nobody would hear them. On the other hand, around that time... Thank you, Kirino, for helping me out with dinner. No problem. What were you doing all day today? I was watching a movie. You really do love them. I guess so. You don't get tired of it? I don't. <laughs> I see. What was funny about that? Nothing. I just thought it was nice that you have something you like that much. What about you, Miss Sumi? You don't have any hobbies? I guess I don't. Oh, maybe work and observing humans. What? I, I don't think that counts as a hobby. Really? By the way, Kirino. What is it? This is about Makoto, but... Yes? Do you think you can be friendly with him? Uh, I guess that's your response. I'm sure he wouldn't want to be friends with a girl like me. That's so unfriendly anyways. That doesn't seem to be the case, though. What? You know, apparently, he's watching movies so that he can get along with you better. Movies? What kind? The one that you recommended to me before. I told him about it. Is that so? Interesting. So, don't you think that you might be able to talk to him? Even just a little bit? Uh, well, I'll think about it. Okay, thank you. That night, once again, the meal was just the three of us. Myself, Miss Sumi, and Miss Nihanda. Oh, that reminds me. What were you up to today, Makoto? She said that she was reading a line, and Miss Sumi looked over at me. And then she gave me one wink. She probably thought she was throwing me a sneaky bone, even though it was completely obvious. Miss Sumi, you really don't need to do things like that. Oh, really? Yes. So, what was your name again, Takamichi? Yeah. How was it? What? You were watching a movie that Miss Sumi recommended you, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, how was it? Uh... I thought that way they used the time leap was really new and different. Even though it was already obvious fingerprints everywhere, I was shocked that there was a way to present it like that. Y you think so? Obviously, because there are a lot of films produced after that that tried to catch up to this one. That's interesting. I could tell that Miss Nihonda was getting more and more excited. The conversation started developing into more about the details and the pitfalls of the story. Watching her, Miss Sumi seemed happy as well. I was the only one that was panicking. This wasn't looking good. This definitely turned into a situation where I can't say that I fell asleep midway through. In the very end, there are a lot of theories about why the main character did what he did. So what do you think, Mr. Takaminchi? What do you mean? You know, about his choice in the end. Uh... Did you actually watch the movie? I did. That's what I said. Honestly. But I fell asleep midway through. Is that so? I don't usually watch movies like that, so the topic was pretty weird. And I hadn't slept much last night, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fool you. 
but you just seemed really excited to be talking about it. So I guess I didn't want to stop you. I don't need your excuses. I understand. This was the worst. Even though Misumi gave me an in, even if it was a little clumsy, I wasted it all. After that, we didn't have any conversation whatsoever and finished our meal. Once dinner was over, Makoto looked upset as he returned to his room. Left at the table were only Sumi and Kirino. Um, Kirino? What is it? Listen, about what just happened. What about it? About Makoto. That was my fault, so will you please forget him? What is there to forgive anyway, though? I is that so? It's just that. I do look at him a little differently now. Wh what What is it? Are you sure you're not mad? That's what I said, didn't I? But sometimes you're hard to read about things like this, Kirino. But what do you mean you look at him differently? I was impressed that he actually tried to watch the movie. What do you mean? You know, I actually have a lot of guys try to talk to me all the time. Well, you are quite cute after all. Yeah, well... Oh, you're going to agree? It's a fact, isn't it? Anyway, I always tell those guys that if we're going to talk about movies, then I will listen. But then when I try to say that, they all say they forgot about that and let's do something more fun. Or that they'll eventually watch it, or they'll just keep lying. I see, so there's a reason why you don't like guys much. But in his case, he actually tried to watch the movie so he could talk to me. So that means he actually tried to face me as a human to human, right? And I'm not such a terrible person that I would just ignore somebody who is actually trying to have a conversation with me. What? Really? What is it? Oh, nothing. Never mind. It sounded like there is more to that, but I guess we can let it go. Plus, for somebody who doesn't watch many movies, I do think that movie was a difficult one. You seem like you're enjoying this, Kirino. Yeah. Why is that? It's a movie nerd's favorite thing, to be able to sink a newcomer down into the depths with us. And from now on, I think I'm going to use my collection to bring him and pull him in with me. And then, Kirino Nihanda smiled. After I finished eating dinner, I decided to go back to my room and try to watch the movie again. That's because this time, I felt like I might be able to watch it until the end for some reason. And I was right about that. This time, the plotline that I couldn't understand earlier actually flowed right into my mind. Oh, I get it. It was Miss Nihonda. It was because she actually explained it all in detail to me earlier. The setting, as well as the intentions of the producer. When you know things like that, the movie was really good. By the time I realized it, I'd completely forgotten my initial objective, and I was completely sucked into the movie. At night, before she was going to sleep, and she was choosing what movie to watch, there were footsteps coming towards Nihanda's room. Those footsteps started to get louder, and they stopped right in front of her door. Miss Nihanda? What? Mr. Takamichi? Please, open up! W what? I haven't forgiven you that much, but wait, it's against the rules for a boy to go into a girl's dorm. It's fine, just hurry! I yes so, what do you want? I watched the movie. Huh? The movie that I fell asleep during in the afternoon. This time, I actually watched it until the end. And it was thanks to you. Because you explained it. You broke it down for me. So it was a lot easier for me to understand. That's why. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really great. It was, wasn't it? From there... We spent the rest of the night talking about movies together. What? That movie is a classic and you haven't seen it? I told you, didn't I? The only movie I've really watched were animes. And I haven't watched anything until now. You definitely are missing out on 80% of life. Damn it. How could I have been so dumb? It looks like you've got some good luck, Mr. Takamichi. Why's that? Because at this timing, you were able to meet me. And I happen to know a lot about interesting movies. I see. Well then, can you give me a few of your recommendations? Of course. Thanks. Uh, also, one more thing. Yeah? Do you think that... that we could be friends? You see, I don't actually know anybody that likes movies, and I wanted someone I could talk to about them with. What are you saying? 
What? We're already friends, aren't we? I you're right. Hey, what do you want to watch today? You know it's already this late at night, right? I don't mind, because I want to watch one. What kind of reasoning is that? But, well, I guess it's fine. Because I took a nap in the afternoon, so I'm not sleepy anyway. It's decided. That night, the two of us stayed up and enjoyed watching movies, recommended by Kirino Nihanda. A few days later... Hey Makoto, you need to hurry up! Just wait! I can't wait, the movie is going to start! We have plenty of time, don't we? I have to buy goods at the shop. Come on, hurry up, hurry up! Yeah, yeah. Oh my, are the two of you going out together? I'm going to go with Kirino, to go see a movie she wants to see. That's not true, I'm the one that's going with you. You were the one that said that you wanted to watch this one in the first place. Is that how it went? Yeah, it was. Interesting, it's a date. How nice to be young. That's not what it is. Well then, we're gonna get going now. Yes, go have fun. Come on, Makoto, hurry up. Yeah, yeah. Under the soaring blue sky, Sumi couldn't help but smile as she watched the two high schoolers run off. This is definitely a date. Because that was the first time she ever saw Kirino look so happy to talk to a boy. I wonder how long it'll take him to realize how she feels. And what a treat to be able to have a front row seat to their beautiful story. Yeah, my hobby definitely is this. My work and human observation. Sumi Shikisaki smiled with satisfaction. <laughs>